Hello Cancer, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys, hope you guys are doing well. So this is your, we're gonna, this is your um, general love reading for July, we're going to take a look and just see who's showing up in your reading, uh, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding this situation that they find themselves in with you and of course vice versa as well. Feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading guys, it is timestamped. Okay, so if you click in the uh, description bar below, you see where it says start reading, click on that. Or even in the comment section, click on that and you'll see uh, that will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is reading for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on cap. Okay. I always say take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your situation, but don't pick up on your situation, you can always stick around. Um, as there sometimes could be messages throughout that just jump out and speak to you. Um, and also you can check out your playlist as well, uh, Cancer, which should be again linked in the comment section. Okay, so I'm going to take these in. I'm also going to clarify them uh, off camera and then I will be <laughs> So Cancer, let's start reading and of course take whatever side that resonates with you, uh, Cancer. I'm picking up as this being your side though and the person that you're dealing with over here. But you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most. All right, so I'm going to say Cancer that, you know, just regardless of how things are at the moment when it comes to you and this person and the relationship as it stands... It moves into a place where it matures. You, you move into a place where you mature. Uh, so therefore, with maturity comes a different way of handling something, a different way of seeing things, a different way of dealing with things. So let me explain. You're definitely, there's some form of disappointment because in the past with that fall there, um, I'm not sure what happened prior to this, but this person with the death card there is like, no, we need to change. There needs to be some huge change when it comes to this relationship or this connection in some way there definitely has been some hurt some pain for this person in the past uh, and now it's like more about protecting their self protecting themselves protecting this relationship protecting just protective mode they're in protective mode they was in protective mode which caused them to kind of pull back on this not so much maybe with their yeah Pull back on this, not not so much emotionally, but more within their, um, uh, maybe their contribution or how they uh, contribute in some way. But definitely a pullback because they're wanting things to change. It's like, we can't continue like this. You can't continue like this. I can't continue like this. This is not how it should be. This is not where it should should be or should go. Um, and, and, and that's it. We, we've got to sort this out. You try to communicate, something around you communicating with this person, with that eight of soul, eight of wands there. Uh, so something around maybe you attempted to communicate with this person or you're thinking or you was thinking about some form of communication that happened with this person here. Uh, but it's definitely a decision was made with this element of you. I feel like there's a respect level that you have for how patient this person has been with you understanding and even compassionate as well when it comes to this relationship wanting things to turn around you do because you're still wanting this but feeling there's an element of thinking things are, are, are stuck or in or or are in limbo let's say that but definitely transformation this person is like no nah, i've had enough we've got to change we've got to change this whatever's happening needs to change which brings you guys to where you are at the moment. A lot of passion, a lot of desire that you do have, but there's a lack of clarity. You're not sure how this is going to turn out because of how this person is showing up. They're showing up as the wild card, Cancer. So Cancer, when we're talking about the wild card, we're talking about having a higher perspective about something. You know, I've gone through enough experiences. We've taken the journey and now I can see better. I can understand that I know better so this person kind of knows better um and it's like there's a bit of judgment that that's that that they have 
yeah, with that judgment card there. Yeah, a bit of judgment that they do have there. Uh, I'm going to I'm gonna ignore that Knight of Swords simply because it's a reckless energy, but it's not so much, it's not overpowering this. So it's like more so to do with them, you know, having thoughts of just maybe saying certain things or uh, doing certain things. Maybe this person is maybe slightly lashing out or being a bit um, snappy, let's say that. Holding back, there's something that they're not, they're not kind of revealing their feelings or. Uh, how do I put that? How do I put that? How do I put that? Letting, letting you know what it is that they know. There's something that they, they might know uh, that they don't want to let you know that they know, if, if that makes sense. Uh, but there's definitely acknowledgement that, you know, I put work into this and it's not, it's not how it should be. This, this relationship is not how it should be. This is how your person is thinking about this um, cancer. Hence the change. But they are willing to put work into this because there is still this pull towards you and pull towards this transformation, this change. This person is serious about this change. So I'm just going to let you know that cancer. This person is not playing when it comes to this change that needs to happen whatever change that is they're not really playing when it comes to that yes there's acknowledgement that you've laid a foundation with this person and you're wanting we've got the empress card there i feel like this is where that shift starts to happen remember i spoke about the maturity that you move into but like this we've got the, the the empress card the empress card talks about the creation of something the buffing of something so you could have kids together um that's for some of you not all of you but there's something around that that causes you to start to take that into consideration. If, if this is the fact that you've got kids and you take start taking that into consideration. Or if this is something that you actually want with this person. Again, it's the same applies. It's I'm taking that into consideration. But there's a lack of clarity around how this is going to turn out. What this person is going to do. What this person is thinking. What this person is feeling. Which leaves you confused even though it's like okay I need to move cog how do I put that I need to move make sure I'm handling this right I'm, I've got to make sure that I'm dealing with this correct I've got to do something different because I'm looking to go down a new path but there is confusion there and I feel like this person we're going back to this seven of swords I feel like and I'm kind of smiling because you're not I know where this is leading uh, but if you're in the mix of it then it's going to make you uneasy yeah so um but yeah the, the the most important thing is is this person is not playing they're wanting change they're not settling for what had gone on in the past definitely been some hurt there uh and 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 it's like they've put their foot down it's like i'm putting my foot down on this relationship when it comes to you cancer and i feel you need that i mean you i feel like you need that in order for you to move into this space which we're going to move into now so link is in the comment section guys as well also make a comment let me know your thoughts even if it's just say hi and um, but i shall see you guys in a bit <laughs>